my YouTube channel, okay? So today's video, what we're going to do? So today we're going to bake cinnamon rolls and, and ubi pandesal, okay? So what do you know about ubi pandesal? It's the famous like bread today. Nowadays, the Filipinos like it because it's very easy. Yeah, and especially this is uh, where you're serving this one during Red breakfast box. time, okay? Yep. So stay tuned and watch out, guys. One, two, three, fuck it! My darling, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. So now, guys, we're going to start now how to make the cinnamon roll. So first, uh, Erica will do the demonstration on how to make the cinnamon roll, okay? So, so first thing that we need to do is to get the milk. You need the milk, okay? Uh, actually, any milk you can use as long as it's full cream, okay? So this is the brand that I always trust. So for anyone who's uh, here in the UAE, you can buy this brand, Lacknor, okay? So next, uh, you need to put it in the cup, measure it. It's like three cups, okay? For you, this one. Okay. Once you are baking, guys, because you need to be the right amount. So first is one. Next. So three cups of milk. milk yeah. okay. Two. And then three cups of milk. Yeah. So that's enough for like how many cinnamon rolls. So how many serving for? It's like you know, a, a, like a lot of people can eat it, especially like ten person or whatever, because. Mm -hmm. In this uh, type of food, you can make a lot without using um, much ingredients, okay? So next, it would be the butter. The butter. So first guys, so we have the butter. What we do is we have to melt the butter, yeah. okay? So it's melted already. If you have like microwave, you can heat it first or just put it outside of the fridge and it will melt naturally. So the next method guys, we have to... We have this... So I will, I scooped already and this will be you need to spread it like this and just wait for it. So and what is the reason why you want to spread the I want yeast. to spread so every like you don't have to mix it that much. You right. know, like it's already spread and then you will just mix it later on. Okay, so let it dry for about two minutes. Just wait for it to be mixed. So the next steps guys, after putting the yeast It is will be putting the sugar. the sugar It will be like 5 scoops Okay, yeah What do you call this one? Like if this is cups This, this is one like is... Oh, I don't really ah, know this, I this one is equivalent to 1 tablespoon one, yeah. So 5 tablespoon of five sugar tablespoon of sugar You don't need to put a lot of sugar Because later on once we put everything It will be a little bit uh, so no need to put a lot. This is just for the bread. Okay. Make sure that you counted it. Okay. And five. Five. Okay. Then done. You need to mix it. Okay. Uh, I have the whisker before, but I lost it already. So I'm just using this uh, spoon. You can use it, you know, guys. You just need to find other solutions if you want to bake, and it's okay, very so easy. Okay. So you can use your spoon. Yes, yeah, spoon only. You can use. So. After mixing all the ingredients, uh, ingredient, uh, ingredients inside the bowl, so we have to put now the Sorry. how many? Uh, so you cups? need to put five, five. Five again. Yeah. Okay. So the ratio will be five, five. tablespoons of sugar and five, five flour. Cups, yeah. Okay. This because this one it can uh, serve a lot of people, so I always try to make it bigger uh, spoons like for this. But if you want like a smaller uh, serving, you can just do maybe two cups or three cups like that. So, just... so now guys, so I put all the ingredients, so the flour is already here. So we have to mix first again. It's kind of wet, so we have to add five flour again. already put another five cups of flour to make it dough so now again we have to mix it but it's not a joke guys it's really really hard okay so it's a good thing if you have a lot of materials 
like the, the mixer, so at least we don't need to use the, the spoon or manual uh, mixing head. So again, let's do it again. So now guys, we mix all the ingredients. So the next steps will be mixing the dough through our hands. So when I try it guys, definitely it's really really hard. I, I'm sweating because of this only. This is not very easy guys. I swear this is the most hardest part because you cannot use any mixer. You have to do it in your own, your own hand. And yes, yes. So you need to try also. You need to make right. it. Yeah. No, don't uh, separate it. You need to like uh, just keep it like that. Yes. Actually, you are seeing the almost the finished product. We just need to make it like that. So now he's doing the kneading because you know this is to make the texture of the bread later on very soft and very fluffy because it will be a very nice taste if you do like this. It's it's very hard because you know you need to use your arms to full power yeah, and it's really take hard. like 10 to 15 minutes. It's not very easy. It looks very easy because you just have to do like this, but it's not. Uh, once you do it on the actual, it will be very difficult for you to your arms. But it's good because also it's like exercise, yes, right? So exactly. he's now about to sweat. I'm sweating, guys. Really. Yeah. You know, when I'm, when I'm watching mm -hmm. some vlogs, yeah. like they're doing like baking, I thought it's really simple. It's simple, not hard. Yeah. But now when I try yeah. it myself, it's really, really hard. hard. Yeah. So for you guys who want to try this, you really need to have a lot of patience, especially when you're baking because you need the right amount of ingredients. And aside from that, you need to use a lot of things and your arms, your energy, it will cost you a lot. You will be sweating a lot. And look how now the texture of this after like a little bit of kneading, see, it's very nice. And later on, uh, like you will see the finished product and it will be tasting very nice. Wow, can't wait. We're already done mixing through our hands. So I'm yeah. going to transfer this one in a plane yeah. for another bowl. Yeah. Okay. And we have to cover this one, cloths or clean foam, right? But you can just put the where is it? All right. So this one, and you can just like do like this. What's, what's the reason why you have to because cover this one? Because you need to like make it rise later or right. a little bit. You know, it will look uh, different later once you put it in. Make it bigger this yeah, one, right? Bigger. All right. Yeah, so now, so guys, while waiting for 30 minutes, because we have to put first inside the chiller the dough to make it rise so it's just only we have to wait 30 minutes so while waiting for 30 minutes the next steps we're going to do is to make the ubi padesal okay yeah. so let's start and the first thing we have to do is what this uh, water one cup of water so we have to put one cup of water, water yes and then two cups of milk all right it's okay this one yeah Again, two cups of milk. Okay, next. Enough. Alright. So that's enough. And then the next step is put the yeast. One spoon of yeast also. One, one tablespoon. tablespoon. Yeah. Alright. To make it correct. No, not this one. Actually, <laughs> it's the other one. The small one. Alright. I think it's this one. Yes. So like this. So we will show you this like one. this. It's almost the same step everywhere, like when you're baking, you know. Okay. So it's just like that. Okay, next. Uh, to... You put already one? Yes. Okay, this is enough. You need to make, like, uh, wait for like three minutes first okay. before putting another ingredient. Again. Next step, it will be putting the butter. The butter. Yeah. Okay, melted butter again. Okay. You need to make it melt because later on it will be a problem when it's like a cold one. Okay. So the next is the three eggs. Okay. White egg and uh, yeah, egg. it's the normal one. No need to separate it. Okay, so the next. So the take note, guys. This is we're making uh ubi pandesal. Okay? okay. So it's very easy and very affordable. No need to go to bakery store if you can make it. You have like the oven. You can just make it. Right? Okay, so I will make it. Makes it yeah. Okay. Okay, so now while he's mixing it, he can add also the sugar. After that, two, and then the next, a uh, three, okay? And three, alright. Okay. Next is 
It will be the sugar. No, the salt. A salt. Yeah, okay. one page of salt or <laughs> tablespoon of salt. Okay, so now he's putting it. Then the next one, it will be oil. Oil, yeah. Okay. You can put like one cup or one tablespoon of um, oil. You can use any oil, but the most important to make it healthy is like the virgin coconut oil, and it also will taste very nice later on. Just you can mix it. So the next steps, guys, is putting the flavoring. So we already mixed the blue and the red color to make it like the Thai lamb, okay? So I will put it like this to make it color. Yeah. Okay. You can see, you can check, huh? Now it turns to... It turns to violet. Yeah. So this is how, because you know in UAE, so we're using this yeah, food coloring, guys. It's very hard to find this. Uh, what you call that? Sweet yam, ubi yam, ubi I yam. think. Ubi yam, a purple yam in this country. But this is only the alternative. Yeah, the alternative you can just put a food coloring. But if you would like to have something, you can just ask someone to find it and then maybe they can find it but here it's very hard so we just try to put the so the next is the food coloring the yeah vanilla. the vanilla the yeah vanilla you could flavor. just put uh, like one tablespoon of it vanilla it tastes uh very nice it it also smells good so it helps this the, is the aroma of the yes. So the next steps guys, after mixing all the ingredients, okay, so we have to put the flour. How many cups again? Six flour, uh, six cups of flour. So six cups of flour. Yeah. Okay. So now guys, I, I already put the 6 cups of flour, so all I have to do is you have to mix it all over until it makes it go. Flour again? Yeah, you need to put another flour. Do you still have that? Yeah. So one, how many kilos or cages is this? The flour so is... finished already. It's 2 kilograms, two kilograms. but uh, it won't be enough. So. But you know we did already the cinnamon roll, so I think it's better because you just uh, have to put a lot of. Now we already. Uh, this is the. Thirty minutes. Yeah, after thirty minutes. This is what happened. Next step is you need to put first this uh, flour okay. and the surface of this because we will do it here, uh, and also we wipe it, guys. So it's clean already. Clean okay, it, yeah. Yeah, like the marble. Okay, I guess that's enough. Okay. So I'm going to cut. Yeah. Now this pieces because you know guys, this is the part where it's very important because uh, this is what you are doing, what you need to do. Yes. So now that guys, it's already done. So we have to use this rolling uh, wood. Yeah. Like uh, anything, you know. And then the next 
part, you can do this. You just have to do like roll it. Roll it. Yeah. But you need to do it like this. So you need to now he's rolling it. Yes. I'm going to roll the Make sure show. that uh, like, don't like this. You need to like really put it all together. Like roll it together. Yes. It's almost finished guys, so we are very happy. It will take me really a lot of time, but now okay, it's done. Just yes. keep it like that on the other part, make it down. Okay, so Erica now she's slicing each yeah. part. Okay. You can just cut it evenly like this side, but uh, make sure it's all the same so it will look nice. But this is like the last part already. We're, we're almost done. So just Make it. Yes, okay. uh, some people are using, you know, they have the equipment for this, but for us, because we are incomplete, so we are just using the knife. But it's moving only. So now we are going to put it on this uh, foil. Yeah, so just only like four is enough because it's going to like a big later. Okay, so later. now, how to put this one inside the oven? Okay, for how many minutes, Erica? It's about 20 minutes only. Okay. Yes. 20 minutes. Okay. okay. So, yeah. so we okay. just go in. So we have to wait for 20 minutes, okay? So after 20 minutes, it's ready exactly. to eat now, yes. okay? But this is the one. So guys, we're preparing for the Kobe Palisal cheese. So what I'm doing is, I'm doing uh, putting cheese on the dough. Yeah, it just exactly. roll it, yeah. You just need to roll. Okay. Something like that. And this one, guys, it comes with already with a bread crumbs. Yeah. Okay, so that one. just only waiting to finish all these things. So now. Hi, guys. So it's already finished our ubi panza. So we bake on this for 15 minutes. Okay, so this is the outcome. So it seems really delicious. So yeah, look at this. It's very nice. So this is, this is yes. ubi panza. So now this is the uh, cinnamon rolls. We're just preparing and almost done. This is the finished product and this is the finished cheese. So for me, I have the cinnamon roll here, okay? Yeah. And so thank you so much guys. So actually it's really hard to make the, yes. to or to bake, by the way, to bake the bread or the dough. But you know, the hardship is this The outcome is very so, that's the end of our video guys. So this is all the finished product. So we have the cinnamon, here cinnamon roll, and the ubi pandesal. So I'm having fun doing this vlog. And thank you so much Erica for teaching me and for baking. So it's my first time. Okay. So how do you feel during the baking procedure, the process and everything? Actually it's hard, especially like uh, making the dough. Okay, it's really hard for me. But look how it uh, yes. ended, right? And it was perfect, it's delicious. It's delicious, guys. If you would just like uh, to be here, come here now. Yeah, it's really delicious. Okay, yeah. so thank you so much, guys, for watching. So don't forget to subscribe my channel, Yansky TV. Okay? And thank you so much, okay? And see you on my next vlog. Yeah. Bye! One, two, three, fuck it.